for top story this Saturday night. A violent encounter with a knife on Charlottesville's downtown mall was all caught on video. It has been posted to Twitter by an eyewitness. And a warning here off the top tonight, the video you are about to see is indeed graphic in nature. In the video, you see a white man holding a black man at knife point. This all happened just before 6 Friday night on the 100 block of East Main Street. Police tell us they arrested the man for attempted malicious wounding. He was also committed to Western State Hospital in Stanton. Police will release the suspect's name once warrants are served, we are told. The victim suffered a cut to his hand. What is unclear tonight is exactly what led up to that violent encounter. Okay, so y'all just saw that video right there. Well, y'all heard the audio right there. And shout out to Professor Black Truth because he retweeted it from Tariq Nasheed on his uh, Twitter account. And that's how I found out about it. And <sighs> this is a wild story in more ways than one. First off, did you notice that the reporter said this happened in Charlottesville, Virginia? Charlottesville, Virginia. As in where that damn riot happened over a year ago back in August. I'm telling you, Virginia is a very racist state. I was actually on a uh, listening to a uh, a live stream that Angry Man was having on his channel yesterday, and he was talking about how racist uh, Virginia is. I was basically saying, you preaching to the choir, because I already know how racist Virginia is, especially after you get past a certain point. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, if you're talking about the, uh, the upper part of Virginia, like northern Virginia that's close, more closer to D.C., more closer, you know, like to that part, then you might be safe. But once you start getting down to like Richmond and beyond that, Lynchburg and Roanoke and all them other places, yeah, that, now you're getting into a more racist part of VA. And those of you who have traveled through that know exactly what I am talking about. Let's just say that you wouldn't want to have your car break down out there and it's dark because uh, good luck getting out of there unscathed. But anyway, so you had this guy right here, as you can see, he has the guy at knife point in this picture. They blurred out the black man's face, but I can even see through the blur. The black man looks scared shitless. And he has this guy at knife point. Now, we don't like I said, we don't know why he did it, but they put they took him to a mental facility. No, they took him to a mental facility. They didn't take him to jail. If this is a black person that did this to anyone else, it didn't have to be to another white person, but anyone else, they would have took his ass to jail, booked him, and we would have knew who his face was. There would have been no question as to if he had any mental illnesses. Like I said, black people are not allowed to have mental, uh, 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 be mentally impaired. <coughs> Excuse me. He just had the knife up to his, uh, Face. Now I'm gonna show you another picture right here. Now here the guy is on the ground, the black man is on the ground. Now he has the knife out. Now I would show you the other video, like the raw video, but I can't. I'm not gonna show it on here because you know that video will probably get pulled down. But the video I saw showed this part right here. You couldn't really make out what the guy was saying. He's talking to the guy like you see in this video. But he then he pulls the knife up in a position like he's about to stab the man in the back like multiple times. Like the shit is scary. Like when I saw him lift the knife up like that, I'm not even going to lie. My heart started racing a little bit. I almost started sweating. Like I almost started getting scared for this black man right here. Like it like he probably was like, oh, my God, this is going to be the end for me. I, if I have family, I'm not going to see them again. Is this how my life comes to a close? Like, imagine being in that moment right there. But this is why I say to black people, you, I think of Virginia, it's an open carry state. If you have a CCW, which is a concealed, uh, uh like a concealed carry weapon or a concealed uh, carry permit, be sure you have that and you have your, your firearm on you at all times, especially in Virginia. Because this shit like this could easily be avoided. Also, also along with that, be sure you take up some classes on, you know, martial art classes. I know I've seen some people leave those in the comments sometimes or learn how to disarm your assailant. Like this guy had a knife. If you can disarm somebody with a gun, disarming somebody with a knife shouldn't be that hard because, you know, a gun is a projectile weapon and then a, a knife is more like stationary weapon. That's, that's to be something, you know, that has to be um, like used with a little bit more force and better aim 
But um, yeah, like this shit was scary. You know, I had to know the guy in this position had to be very scared. But what pissed me off the most, but it doesn't surprise me, was when I was looking at that raw video, was seeing the amount of people just walk by and act like nothing was going on. And of course, the people that was walking by were white people. Someone had left a comment saying something that I didn't think of, but it actually made sense. They probably thought that the black guy did something to the white guy to warrant the white guy for doing what he was doing. Because, you know, we are, we are inherently the boogeyman. We are always the bad guy. So this guy, who clearly is off his goddamn rocker, had every right to have this guy at knife point, not once, but twice. Once to his neck and the other to his back. But at this moment, what this black guy should have did with quick thinking is he should have took, he should have looked down at his legs, did a leg sweep to trip him up, and then put his foot on his neck and then kick the knife out of his hand and hold it there until help arrived. Or at least put him in a sleeper or something. Because I could see the opportunity arising right there. Just stick that leg out. Kick it one good time or do a leg sweep, watch him trip, kick the knife away so he doesn't grab it, and then pin him down. But in that moment, some people just never know what they're going to do. But if you're not trained in that or you don't think that when you're panicking, your mind's going a million miles a minute, you don't know what to do. But like I said, them white people walk on by, like act like nothing happened. This reminds me. Of an incident that happened, I think, a month ago, where that resource officer body slammed this boy, this black boy who was special needs, and them white women was in that office, just all they could say was, oh my God, oh my God. They didn't do not one damn thing. All they held were their papers and that, that whatever, their paperwork, and didn't do anything. They got on code, and they stayed right there. They did not once help this man. Now, if it was reversed, they would have went after the guy. But that's all I really have to say as it pertains to this. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.